I hope that's not backwards. Does that look backwards? I hope it's not backwards. Beep. Check out one of our custom surfboards. Want to see how I made it? Come on, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Wendy. Welcome to the Herbstead. As you may or may not know, Michael and I run a business out of our shop. We make wall decor. And I thought it would be fun to take you through the process of making one of those items. Um, one very popular right now is our surfboard. And I have some examples behind me. First it starts at my computer. I do a couple designs, as you can see, um, for the customer to choose from. What's neat about this particular board is she had a logo already made. I did not make that logo. And I pieced it together to give her some options. And she went with the vertical one. Uh, so now let's go down to the shop and I'll take you through all the steps of what it takes to make a surfboard. We're back down in the shop and I'm going to walk you through the steps. Um, this particular surfboard is our biggest one, our 35 inch surfboard. And um, I don't have to laser it. I don't have to cut it out on the laser because we actually have a stockpile here. So we have, everything's really huge. <laughs> we have a big, the back, we need to sand it. And then we have the top layer. Everything's in my way. The top layer is in three pieces. So we have to sand um, all of these. Let's get to it. Okay, now that those are sanded, we have to stain the two sides of the top layer and spray paint the pinstripe to the color that the customer picked, which I think she picked vintage vintage teal. I will look that up to verify. So let's go into the um, staining room. All right, welcome to the staining room. This is where we like to try to keep all the staining, spray paint, anything that has fumes, keep it out of the shop. Otherwise, you get a headache all day. So I'm going to stain these two top layers and then um, put them on a drying rack and then we'll set up the pinstripe and we'll paint it her vintage teal color. tape. I do have a fixture uh, that I make, but I have to make a new fixture, but I don't like the spray paint to show at the edges because um, in the final surfboard it all has that laser burnt edge and I want to keep that look. I don't want to lose that. So for now, I just tape off. It's the exact width of the board uh, so it works. For those, so we're gonna let that dry for a little while, then we'll come back and do another coat. I'll probably just do that, I won't bore you with that. <laughs> Let's go back into the shop, and I will show you running the top layer her design, her logo design on the laser. Okay, as you saw in the design um, on my computer, this one is a little bit different than how I normally do things, so I don't know how it's gonna look on the surfboard, so I need to do a couple of tests. Um, that way I know that she's getting exactly what she wants and what looks the best for her particular logo. So I've put in a scrap piece of board and I'm going to do some small scale tests of her logo um, with the words on top or embedded or I don't really know. So let's go on this journey and see, end up seeing, see which one 
looks the best in the end. Okay, we have our four designs. Um, once it's the final project, I will sand and make everything look nice. Since this is just a test, I'm not going to waste my time. So you do have charred edges and not a smooth surface, but that's okay. Um, now I have to figure out how I wanna do it. Um, we typically just have bare wood so that can be an option um, and then maybe make each letter uh, like a color maybe and then embed it into the logo maybe we do one that's um, bare wood here and then these I printed out that they could lay over top and then that just lets me know where to align it so maybe, maybe this is bare wood, and this is a dark stain, maybe this is a dark stain, and this is bare wood. Um, then I can place everything on top. Um, I also, as you saw, I lost some pieces. Sometimes they fall through the laser, and you have to find them underneath. Uh, we usually use tabs, which I did, and most of the tabs worked, but some did not. So I did lose some of the letters, but I actually found everything but one apostrophe, I think. So I can piece it together pretty much how it should look. I might ignore all the little um, pieces along the outside that she has until it's the final project, because again, this is just a test. I don't need to waste my time. I just need to see which combinations of stain, bare wood, and paint look the best together. So I will go and do all that and I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, so I did those designs for her, sent them to her. Now while we wait for her to pick out her favorite, let's go ahead and glue the surfboard. Um, we have a back layer that's a solid piece and then we have the three top layers uh, that we need to glue down. And what we have done is created this fixture. Can I get it in frame? <laughs> um, it is, let me show here. It has a little bit of a lip there. That way you get that border around the whole thing. And this way we know that every surfboard is centered perfectly. So let's glue it down. that is in place, we can take the fixture up. Then I've created another surfboard shape that I can press weight down on top, but I like to use the wax paper um, just to not get any damages on the spray painted um, pinstripe. I learned the hard way that if the spray paint is, a, is at all damp, um, you could get little wood slivers um, and the, um, the wax paper helps to have a still perfectly painted pinstripe. Now we wait for it to dry and when we come back we will know which one that she picked and we'll be able to put glue on the top layer and finalize this surfboard and see what it looks like all done. 
Okay. I sent her the files. She picked out her favorite. And this is what she chose. I've already gone ahead and ran it on the laser and stained it because one of the pieces did need to be stained so it's already dried. And let's glue it down. Okay, been a couple of days. Everything has dried. Um, the glue, the stain. We are ready to unclamp this, see how the board looks, and then get to glue in the top layer of her logo on the board. Let's see what it looks like. the vintage teal color. Okay, now what we do is we clamp this in place so that everything lines up. Um, all the words, her logo, it's all centered and everything. Um, but the tricky part is going to be these little tiny pieces. I don't want to get them in the wrong spot. So, I will get to it. pieces are in place. A few of the pieces will need one final sanding, but otherwise it's a nice board. It's a cool logo. Thanks for watching. To get your very own custom surfboard, head on over to timberbubble.com today. Link is in the description below.